Oh, don't Kitchener. Yeah. Uh, so, Kitchener, uh, all of them were double agents in the wars for profit or just to get rid of their numbers by sinking and scuppering their fleets. Oh. It, it's our... <laughs> Uh, and that is Scapa flow and everything that happened there. Uh, and you remember, uh, of Wiedersehen, Pet used to laugh at everything, the sinking of the Bismarck and everything. The reason they do that is because they went to Mannheim, and that is the man that is Arius Piso, that is the Bible author. And that is the Mannerheim Treaty. Have I told you about that? You have, yeah, we've spoken about it before. So that is when Hitler met Mannerheim. Everybody that has got the Man name in it, that is the naming of Man City and Man United, all of it is a massive pistic. It's the Bible author right from the start of the world's beliefs to the end. All of them have been misled, which is why we are almost permanently at war. That is, Arius Piso's nicknames are the meaning of life. And if I were to go through the list of British journalists, <laughs> you'll see. So that's Jim Mars. That is the interviews in the killing of Kennedy. That Mars is the god of war. And that is one of Arius Piso's favourite nicknames. Uh, uh, and that is the the journalist that presented the chat shows on the BBC in the morning. He was Mars too, uh, and uh, it on and on and on. Pelosi, uh, all of them have the word Piso in their name, uh, and uh, it's the the. Did I tell you about Harry Enfield being? Uh, related to the Duchess of Roxburgh. When I told her that, I met her outside her castle the other week. The dog was gobbling up the rabbits. As <laughs> she was an ultra supreme. And I said to her, could I have a meeting with you? Because I'm a genealogist. Uh, and I, it's notable that the Dukes of Roxburgh keep the bloodline tree archived, but the women do not get a place in it. Uh, and she she said, uh, I said, she said, why are you interested in us? Well, I said, for one thing, I've discovered this week that you descend from a chap called Harry Enfield, whose name was Cholmondley Warner, uh, and that is the uh, massive uh, families that become the Duke of Westminster and actually married into the bloodline for the Duchess of Roxburgh one uh, generation before you. Uh, and she, she said to write me a letter and I'll, I'll try and make some time for you. She's Win Williams uh, and they are the Dukes of Roxburgh yeah. uh, and that is the Roxburgh families that are hell-bent on getting rid of me. They've got all of the farms around here are uh, run by Kerr's, and that is the family name for uh, Guy Innes Kerr. That is, once again, like Fred Christ Trump. That is Guy Insus Kerr, that is Jesus. Yet yeah, all of them are using that wild ass joke for the killing of all of the armies that they send to their deaths. Yeah. And she's did, a, you, did you ever write to her? I've not, not had the time yet. It's all, it's all just a massive... Every day you wake up, it's just amazing how many scandals there are to uncover. And <laughs> yeah, I've, that's why I, I do not fear them, because uh, it's so inspiring just to keep going. Uh, and just everything is a scam. The British police are run by a company called Clifford Chance. Uh, and that is the... That is a massive pan-continental money laundering vent. Yeah, what are the chances? Yeah, and I uh, went to the Cheviot Hills where the battles of flooding and things were fought. Uh, and I went to the massive places at the top of the mountains. Uh, and it's the, the families that are 
fighting in those battles in the 16th century uh, and dying for the cause that is grabbing other people's lands. Uh, the names are absolutely legendary uh, and they are still the landowners in this region. Uh, but now, as you said before, that you, you, we're not allowed to smack our kids now, uh, but you're still allowed to pretend as the head of the MOD that you're actually British. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and that is, that is the biggest scam. And Greg Hallett's uh, work, his book is the rarest species in the whole of literary history. Uh, and I've discovered what a chute is now. That is a, it's a, it's a something without troops. Let me see if I can find that on the. Uh, what like like the coronavirus? It's a war without troops. Well, well, it's it's much more spectacular. That is the launch of those German kings into the British monarchy, and that is the same year as they launched. That's the Glorious Revolution, and that happened the same year as the Bank of England was created. So it's a tactical something without troops. A tactical... Let me see if I can find it. It should not co come up a lot in the lists. Uh, so, so that is the stealing of the Bank of England yeah. by William of Orange and his woman, who was a Stuart descendant. Uh, and they had to become, both of them, Protestants really, really quick, or they would have been beheaded like the Catholic claimants. And all of them fought in that battle at Flodden. And looking over Flodden, there is a massive mansion, uh, and the name of the mansion is like the massive mansion where Mary Queen of Scots was kept in before she was executed in Jedburgh. The mansion is called Palin, like the Monty Python's actor. And, and that is one of the biggest secrets. I still cannot find the history of that family, but you should see the real estate and the land around his home. And that is what happened after that war was fought and all the carve up. And that is what has been happening right through British history. But you think that even although you and I fell out, that if you think a little bit, I did not know that your dad was poorly and that you were stressed like that. Uh, it's okay, we don't need to talk about that at all. Talk yeah, but, but that, that is the compassion that the human race should have. And I believe that the gods still have it, but I don't even know whether or not, no one can know whether or not there have been schisms in the deity community if you believe in gods. But when you realise that the leadership team that are absolute fascists and want all the poor people out of the way, uh, they are still using... So Fred Christrump is Donald's dad. They ran brothels in the Yukon as their uh, main route to become billionaires. Uh, and that is the families that are descended like Hillary Clinton, from John of Gaunt, and that is the massive Plantagenet dynasties that wore those black uniforms. Uh, have you seen the El Cid movie? Oh, crikey, ages ago, yeah. So you remember the, the bad guys that wanted to execute the Moors when El Cid had captured them? Okay. Uh, they asked El Cid, do you want them executed like the king does? or are you going to release them? And he personally took the uh, uh, handcuffs and the things that you put over their shoulders off. And that is my favorite movie. And all of, it, uh, all of it is the, you know, the attempts to show that if someone can make friendly gestures like that, instead of plotting how your next prime minister has got to be a, a Nazi on Hitler's bloodline tree, I'll send you on YouTube the document uh, uh, details 
So you can have a look at why the families that are... Everything that is on the family trees for Hitler is, is a joke in that listing, and it becomes something that happened in historic fake-ups. So Olga Corbett... Can you remember oh, how, oh, the gymnast. Oh, Yeah, that is the cover for one of the Tsar's daughters that was gunned down in the Grand Palace in Russia. And we've got a demonstration outside the room or something. What do you want? No. Oh, sorry. You have to finish now. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, so, so that is the that is the Tsar's children. I think it was five daughters. Uh, and that is Olga was one of them and it's the same there's a place called uh, Ford and Ito and when I went to Flodden there is recognition that one of the landowners that were fighting at that time they are on a little plaque all on their own and that is Lord uh, Haw Haw's family tree uh, and they lived in Ford and Ito, uh, and they have got <coughs> the family name was Joycey, that is Lord Hoho, and he was trained as a Joycey, uh, and it's a massive mansion. And let me explain how the German contact system and the Deutsche Dunst system works. So, in that massive mansion, they had a concubine, uh, and her name is uh, Dorothea Jordan. She was of German descent, like the king, yeah, and like those folk that lived in Windsor Palace, right up to the mad King George III. Uh, and that is Dorothea Jordan, had over 20 babies, and that is to cover the death of any of the families that are the leaders of the new regime that is German. And that is covered. The names that they used were football players at Newcastle United. Uh, that is... Uh, and they're ballet dancers. So Moira Shearer, she was a Germanic woman. She lived 10 miles from her hometown. She was marked, that is Alan Shearer of Newcastle United, and all of them came across uh, into that massive uh, uh, Newcastle region that the word Berg is the meaning of castle. That is Kunzberg. That is the German woman that has taken over as the BBC propagandist. Uh, and it's absolutely unbelievable that all they want to do is to do what their predecessors have done and commit genocide so that they can become the big, biggest killers and the wealthiest people on this earth. Yeah, it's incredible they don't just stop that. Yeah, it's, it's, that, it's on and on and on. And that is the meaning of life for Lord Jacob Rothschild and all of his children that are Bullingdon boys like Boris Johnson. And I used to think that I would be able to charm his daughter, Hannah Mary Rothschild, yeah, into changing her ways, but that is the writ that I got that got me sent into jail, and she's a war criminal, and she's still at liberty. Yeah. Uh, and that is... That is why I sent you that information last night, so that you could see the magnitude of those war crimes and her people being her favourite politicians that are the founders of the Federal Reserve Bank that took America into World War I and sank the Titanic so that she, Hannah Mary Rothschild, and her children could be a billionaire right through her life. And I've been uh, found guilty of harassing her. And for that reason, I have to pay £60 a night to live in hotels when all of the proof of all of those dirty deeds that mean that the world is 
permanently at war forever for oil wealth and the men come in and sit and listen to me making the videos on how Princess Diana was killed, who killed her and what their fake names were and where their estates were. Oh no, sorry, that was her lover, James Hewitt. But it is absolutely tragic that we cannot live in peace with our neighbours eh, and that Boris is even able to become yeah, a leading politician from that violent set of families that are the parents of Adolf Hitler eh, and the other families. So that is, eh, can you remember the Olympic race where somebody tripped somebody up in the, okay. uh, it was, it was. Yes, I got tripped over by an American. Yeah, so th those are all the families the, that well, I learned about. That is the Bill Gates style of family. He is, he is Gottschein. Yeah, and I've made videos on them, and that was in the period when I was living in Dundee, uh, and we had all those problems with the soundtrack and things. But now I dare not show. Uh, any pictures of anything that is in my story or they will block it. Yeah, unless it is historic. And that even that, the Harry Enfield videos that we published and everything that happened in 1937, that was the year that they launched the steel at the Bank of International Settlements in Basel. And the Basel faulty joke is the bane of my life. That is why they were going to section me that is the faking up of a doctor called Basil Switzer, who is the, already the name of one of the chief master masons, uh, and that is, he lives in Colston. That's not true. Please, I'm making an interview. Uh, and the man that's at the door telling me it's not true is in the videos with Lily Allen, and all of it is a tragedy for the human race. So how do you stand now on, on the uh, top of the COVID-19 that's going on and the mass lockdown globally, you're on lockdown, we're on lockdown? Well, I've explained to you what caused it. It was the potency of my videos, even without your help, that is the history of the royal family in Britain presented by the BBC that are the launch of the DVD Deunst Nazi families in Great Britain as the leaders at Port and Down, at the MOD, and in the Prime Minister's seat in the Parliament building. Is that enough? Well, this is, this is massive, it really is. It's, it's yeah, the, and the more we can get out, the better. So what's happening in Ireland? Well, we are now in a situation where if you are two kilometres away from your home, and you have got no uh, great excuse for being two kilometres or more away from your home, that you can be arrested. I had my mother phoning me up uh, yesterday saying, don't come around to the house, Sean, uh, you'll, you'll be arrested, uh, you don't, don't, don't come out of the house. And I'm, I'm, okay, okay. So here's the thing. If that is true, if that is true, for a start, we haven't got a government. You know, it's an election, and it's a, it's a home election. Nobody knows who's who or what's what at the moment. Yet we've got the one that lost the election still being our T-shirt. So these legislations that are coming out, whether COVID or not, are, are worthless, okay? But let's put it into perspective. I live in a house five miles from the nearest shop. Yes. <laughs> How can I not go less than two kilometres away from my fucking home? I idiots. Are they not just stupid idiots? Well, I mean, you would have think that... My mother's house, and she phoned me from her house. She lives 30 kilometres away from me. And she lives about five kilometres from a shop. Well, they know that... You, I know that if I were taken by a policeman to a police station, I would insist on getting the hotelier that has hosted me to confirm that I've shown him all of this data that mean that the police chiefs in Britain are totally crooked. I would never comply uh, with anything that they impose on me since they put me in the jail in Hoyk, yeah. yet for being a political activist and revealing that massive religious truth 
that is the Cross Keys and the launch of that owner of that hotel who's one of the Italian nobility descended into Madonna's bloodline tree. And that's one of my biggest hit in videos and that is the reason that I was jailed because the history of religion is why the rich listers are rich. And when you know the people in Germany that are on Goebbels' family tree, and you've told them that, that is why they become your friend on Skype and offer me a BMW, which is their output, uh, and puts them on the Forbes rich list. They do not like to talk about that, which is why Jeff Bezos has dropped off as the boss on the Forbes rich list at number one. He's crazy Bezos Dugashvili. <laughs> yeah, that is Stalin. And, and they, these bribes that you were offered, obviously you refused them, but did they think they're going to shut people up? Or no, them I'm trying to appeal to them that they need to be humanist at long last, that the days of massacring our neighbours so that we can get rich quick are gone. It's, yeah. it's absolutely... Yeah. And, and the, the friendly man that is my host in this hotel, he tells me every story, the remembrance of the people that used to shag their women through the prison camp fence. Yeah, that is... <laughs> that is <laughs> yeah, you've got, you've got to laugh at it. And everywhere that I know in the borders that is now a golf course was a prison camp. That is how they have done it. They have inserted their penis into the local women's uh, pie. Yeah, that's the American pie joke. And that is the launch of the breeding of the next generation of people that will be treasonous to that new country in the next war. And that is police officer Lord Condon who runs the companies that are reported just before the uh, viral outbreak happened. That is G4S and the massive corporates that they have with the local landowner that is Lord... Uh, uh, what was the name of the man that was in charge? Uh, the local families are Earls of Home. They are the owners of the banks that was the Coots Bank. When that crashed, they had to suicide. It is a tragic story. If you're evil, the gods will catch up with you in the end. And that's what keeps me going. And that's what makes me feel that I'm able to sit with people that are listening to the videos that I'm planning to make eh, and stare them in the eye. Eh, and it's absolutely eh, exhilarating to be able to work that way but you cannot get the truth out when the Nazis are in charge of the media. And yeah, are. and that is the biggest problem that we have. That is Rupert Murdoch. And I did not believe that the gods would take as long to get rid of him. But you do not know whether or not they'll just keep replacing them with doppelgangers. And I've now believed strongly in reincarnation since I read the Blackett family tree that is going to put Commoner Kate on the throne when the Queenie passes on. Nice. Yet yeah, she's, a, she's a Blackett family member and all of my students have been placed in my laboratories and my lecture rooms because they are supporting her cause. It's absolutely corrupted, but if we continue to show inspirational capacity to forgive our friends for trivial uh, misunderstandings and the capacity to publish things openly like Hitler's family tree being the family tree for Boris, then all of a sudden it will collapse. And you and I will be respected for the rest of world history, but that will not happen unless we keep yet going at them despite the BBC's reluctance to show that they are a Nazi Deutsche Dunst organisation. Lord Condon 
runs G4S and he also runs uh, several of the companies with the Earls of Home and all of it is in the videos that uh, Facebook tried to block when they were being uploaded. So the pictures got shown. They thought somewhere underneath there was a video, but the video that I uploaded with the picture was uh, then banned by Facebook. YouTube are much more consistent since we started to use the uh, war criminal titles. But the Rothschilds are immune from that conscience complex. Uh, and that is the world's biggest problem. <laughs> uh, what else would you like to hear? <laughs> would I like to hear? I'd like to hear that the uh, lockdown is going to end very soon, that we can all go back to visiting our friends. Well, that's why, I'm re that's why I refuse to comply. And I, I met one of the Earls of Holmes' uh, mansion residence the other night, and she said, you're not supposed to be walking here. And I just said, oh, I didn't know that that was the case. Yeah. And last night, they pretended they went out to celebrate something in the high street. And I was absolutely bemused. But it's something to do with celebrating the, the event that we have just had with the coronavirus. So the traffic for the NHS. Yeah, so the citizens were out on the street last night clapping like... Yeah, there was nothing passing by. Yeah. It's <laughs> and that, funny, that, funny. It's that, really is. I mean, that that shows how mind control and manipulation can work on a global scale. Yeah, absolutely. And and so all it needs I'm stunned that Ireland that has been in those ethnic hatred, yeah, terrorist events itself. How many years is that? Well, a hundred and so years. So. But you you're talking about even bigger catastrophes way back in the ancient history. Oh, well, I said that in 1150, um, Pope Adrian, um, who was the very first English Pope, uh, wrote a papal bull and gave Ireland and its people, well, era and its people, to Henry V as a gift. Oh, I thought, I thought that England had one of the earliest popes, and that was the launch of the Shakespeare family. Breaks, Breakspear, they were one of the earliest millionaire families. The very first English Pope was Pope Adrian. Right. Um, he was... And was um, he from Hertfordshire or somewhere down in the south? I'm not, I'm not sure where he was actually from, but he was the first British Pope, English Pope, um, and that was back in 1150. Uh-huh. Uh, so so it's... trouble started. I think everybody now understands that the the religious slant I'm now I'm still inspired by the gods in the heavens and when you see my enemies and in inverted you know folk that abuse me or get rude or uh, bolshy with you in physical terms uh, it's easy to see that the god <laughs> everybody gets plaster cast after that has happened uh, and that's what keeps me ticking I know that I know that for me, there is a God that is prepared to help, uh, and it's it's really inspirational. Uh, but I, because uh, it's the aristocratic families are shielded like no one else is, uh, and that is the bane of the world. Uh, and it's it. <laughs> Well, they're using Satanism and black magic, aren't they, to keep in their positions? But that's failing, and, and it's going to be overcome really by the by the um, uh, global consciousness of, of humanity. Well, that's that's and right. But that you see, the Roth, that's Rothschilds that's really, have. Hang on a second, George. And that's really why they want to depopulate, to get that mass consciousness to be easy, controllable, and their black magic. Well, that's why I believe that the reincarnation thing is so important. Because if you can have a whole army of deputies that have got the same salmon in their uh, skull and bones, you can, you can just pop them back into the family tree at any given time. And that is why I believe the Duke of Westminster is still alive. Uh, and 
uh, that reincarnation is possible. Uh, and I, because I'm not in the skull and bone secret societies that run the war like George Bush is, uh, I believe that they are, they are gloating that their families have been reincarnated several times. Uh, and that is actually, that was actually published on the Blackett Mafia family uh, tree. And every time they had a reincarnation year, they would tell you that. And that was in the year 700, and then there was another one in 1030. And, and they tell you what the gender was, they tell you what the title was. Uh, and that is my families that were uh, Errington. They are estate owners, they were my students, they were loyal. When I published the website that declared all of that for Adam Errington, the whole of the Northumbrian community panicked. Right. And that is every fucking student I ever had at Sunderland University. And all of them are run by the residual uh, families that are the aristocrats that make them the Chancellor and the Vice-Chancellor. So Durham is run by Percy as the Vice-Chancellor and the Chancellor forever. And the families that my children are dating are from those families. And every student that I ever had has turned out to be my arch enemy. And when I published it, they absolutely panicked. It was one of the most humorous days in my life. And they, the gods are capable of giving them jinxes. Did you see the, I think it was the Irish match, where the fullback for Scotland got over the line, but he dropped the ball. We're talking rugby, yeah, I, I, did, I did see that. His name is Hogg. That is <coughs> the Piso family mafia. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That is the jinx. When he was a youngster, uh, there was a fatal car crash. Uh, he played in the Kelso Sevens when my child's rugby jersey was stolen from the changing rooms. On the way back up to Hoyk, one person died in a car crash. Hog the fullback was in the car. That's why I believe that the gods are in the game. Okay, so, so what you're saying is, and I know it, it sounds unbelievable to most, but that Hogg dropped that possible try because of a jinx on him. Yeah, it's difficult to believe, but I've been studying their behaviours forever. Yeah. Because uh, I've got nothing better to do. I have nowhere to live. Yeah, no woman since my chip and not and wife left. Mm. Uh, and I'm quite happy with that. Are you? At least you cannot be betrayed from that position. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So, the only way is that, George. And, and the, the Hogg families, the Hogarths, have been their friends all through my life, and they now know that they are jinxed like that. Uh, it's <laughs> uh, and it's amazing when the families start falling off the ladders and their arteries get severed. Yeah, it's all just... It, you, if you keep the facts and archive them carefully... Uh, that's why I believe in the gods. Yeah. Uh, shall we stop? We can, of course. A lot of people would agree with you, and a lot of people would disagree with you with the old gods thing. Um, you know, people say, there is only one god. Well, well that's right. That, but that is that god is Jesus. And that is why they are laughing with Christ in the middle name as the emperor of America. But don't you say that Jesus doesn't exist? Do That's exist? right, which is why Donald has called himself Fred Christ Trump was his dad. Guy Innes Kerr is Insus. Martin McGuinness is Insus. Yeah, and that is the families that played the roles in... What was the McGuinness that, that played the role of Zeus in... Jason and the Argonauts? I'm not sure what his full name is. It, it wasn't Michael McGuinness anyway, was it? It was, it was McGuinness, but I can't remember the name. And the beautiful German actress that was his wife, Hera, 
is uh, she is one of the most beautiful women that ever lived in Hollywood, and I don't know I don't know whether or not there is a contact between the gods that were originally in the heavens and those that have come down for recreational sex on this island. But that is the right at the beginning of Jason and the Argonauts, you see Hera, she comes down and hides in the bushes, and he has fallen into the river, the body that is going to be leading the foundation of the Argonauts. He nearly drowns because Hera keeps dragging him under. That is the hog, the fullback story, as far as I'm concerned. It's only my opinion. Yeah, and the things that are happening all around me, that's why I keep, uh, uh, that's why I keep saying, and I do not panic, because everybody ends up in plaster casts or <laughs> car crashes, uh, and it's it's. Uh, well, when I lived before that, George, I never ended up in plaster casts. No, 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 that's, you're a good man. I believe you are, and that is why the sun came shining out when you accepted my apology for not knowing that your dad had been ill and what was stressing you up. And I remember asking you all those questions, uh, but because of that stress, you could not answer them, and that was your memory. And and when I'm stressed, that happens to me too. Uh, uh, well, isn't, it great, isn't it great we got back together? Yeah, yeah. So, so I'll, I'll try... But could you... Uh, allow me to pre-forecast with images what we're going to talk about and then I'm obligated to have a program and the images drive them nuts. That's why my website is so... It, it creates havoc in the whole of the New World Order's mind's eye uh, from Queenie downwards. Well, look, I'll make sure to have your, um, your, your website and your Facebook page in the blog and on the podcast page. Yeah. Um, going to go out Wednesday night, of course, um, it'll be going out on, what date is it today, it's the, ooh, so it'll be going out on 15th, if Wednesday the 15th, and um, it's a lot of information for people to take in, and maybe we'll have to have you on again when you've got more information to share. But to c- can you and I encourage your audience to start collecting facts and to make archives, because what needs to happen to Higgins in a position of that importance in a divided country like Ireland that has been divided by religion forever, they are millionaires from the pretense that they are clerics. And that has been the case for the popes. Pope Benedict is the biggest... Uh, Pope Francis is the biggest landowner on this earth. He is an assassin and a serial killer in the... Uh, in the wars that were leading to the killing in the stadia, that is George W. Bush's family policy, and that is how Pope uh, Francis was chosen from Argentina. Yet that is the killing in the stadia, that is the Bush family as the head of the CIA, and all of that is from the wars when the popes were a major instrument for killing the poor people. It's absolutely sordid that they still have them. They're able to prance around in the lightning storms and then the BBC take the lightning storm out by editing the news release. Uh, And that is what has happened with every Pope so far. Uh, And they're totally crooked. Uh, And uh, even... Pope Fulton, I had a school chum called Ian Fulton, who's got a cancer now, uh, and he, Fulton, if you look it up in the papal bloodlines, he was one of the Nazi popes in America, in wartime. Shall we stop? Yes, we will indeed. So, Professor George Lees, thank you so, so much for coming in out of the bag. It's great to have you back, so it is. Cheers, Sean. You're a, you're a very gifted guy, and thank you for keeping those stories in your head. That, those, those religious stories, uh, and now every time I start talking about uh, Christopher Martin, who I used to respect, the, the clouds come pouring across.
Right. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's totally crooked. And that is poor little Jennifer Aniston. Uh, and the whole lot of them. Uh, Lily Allen dated James Corbin. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah that's Corbin, the 10th or 11th papal pope. Yeah, that is Smithy in Gavin and Stacey. And all of it is totally crooked. And all of the actors and actresses are in it for the wealth and the geopolitical uh, motives that we've talked about, but not about the Warner Brothers. Have I told you about them? No, we'll, we'll talk about that again. That is the ch four brothers that are chief master masons. And that is the launch of the Warner filmmaking industry by Kaiser Wilhelm's relatives right. and we'll bastards. Talk about, we'll talk about that next time. Professor George Lee, thank you so, so much for coming. Cheers, Sean. Thank you. There you go. I stopped recording. Good lad.